Leg 23, day one. Cheltenham to Worcester. Uh, the rain is just starting to fall, which is forecast to come on and off all day. Going to get slightly wet, I think. I've got plenty of company today, which is very exciting. I've got the legendary Dr. Simon, Simon Gilson. Uh, from Concierge Medical in Cheltenham and I also have coming back for her third appearance Pauline Edwards and son Henry who's back for his second appearance uh, which is great um, we are walking up sort of northwest towards Tewkesbury where we'll then pick up the seven which we will walk the entire way to Worcester where we are for the meeting tomorrow uh, it's about 26 miles I think all in I'm just sort of hoping really that this weather, which is as we speak starting to come in quite hard, doesn't get particularly unpleasant, but I fear it's going to. Walk on. Afternoon now. Uh, the weather has been remarkably kind to us, all things considered. We got about oh, less than three miles to go now to make up about 20, 21 on day one. Highlight of the day, I suspect unquestionably, it was the victory at Lingfield today of the Henry Candy trained Exoplanet Blue, who I've got a share in with Frosty and Benson and assorted other rum coves, uh, which is very exciting. We stopped for a pint in Upton on Seven to celebrate. Uh, we're just about to come into another village and Simon informs me that there is another pub in the village and wondered if I'd got any blinkers or cheek pieces in my rucksack in order to keep on the straight and narrow. But at this stage in the day and this close to the finish, Sorry, Simon, no pint. Walk on. I'm finding it almost irresistible, this pub. I think partly because, as you can probably see, there's a rather splendid sort of fort slide in the garden. But I'm afraid, you know, discipline is important in these things, Simon. You'll have to make do with one of Pauline's what's it. Uh, and I'm afraid it's walk on. Walk <laughs> on. Leg 24. Uh, no, I mean 23. Uh, <laughs> day time getting muddled. Day two of Cheltenham to Worcester. Uh, come back to polish off the last uh, five or six miles to Worcester. Uh, I'll be joined very shortly by Lisa Cadwallader, who's a great supporter of Pancreatic Cancer UK. Had a lovely morning so far. Got up bright and breezy. Had a very large plate of scrambled egg on toast from eggs laid by um, Simon Gilson who walked Gilson who walked with me yesterday's very splendid chickens uh, and uh, then we potted across to Fergal O'Brien's yard at uh, Norton which was lovely to see his to see his string uh, bumped into Kathy TD and Sam uh, who hopefully is going to uh, potter up to Wol to Worcester later uh, and also saw um, WTC official supporter Paddy Brennan, who was down there, which was great. Lovely to catch up with him and Alan Corley and the rest of the team there. It's a lovely setup they've got there. Uh, I think it's definitely going to be an outfit worth keeping an eye on in, in years to come. Anyway, the weather's good again, pretty clear, which is good. Uh, we've got a lovely race meeting this afternoon. We've got, a, I suspect, a very busy course walk. Uh, all sorts of people turning up, but more of that in due course for the time being. Walk on. 23 coming to an end. Cheltenham to Worcester have had a fantastic course walk. Charlie Longson and family, boys jumping fences, Daryl Jacob, Richard Johnson, Sam TD, uh, the world and his wife, all here. Finished, leg 23, done and dusted. And I can see my bald patch on the big screen, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs>